Hey SOCOM, my name is Andy Pye. I'm the sitting volleyball coach supporting SOCOM since 2011. Also, I'm a Paralympic uh, Pipeline sitting volleyball coach. And the person that's been helping me is Linda Gomez, also a Paralympic sitting volleyball coach. And she's been supporting Wounded Warriors for the last six years. So this video is going to be about strength and conditioning and, you know, the movement exercise of sitting volleyball. So some of the things you will see, you will see videos where we talk about the movement of sitting volleyball. One thing that's going to help you in getting better about the movement and getting two balls playing sitting volleyball is practice the movement. So we will have uh, some drills, or just a drill that will show you uh, moving back and forth, diving for balls, playing balls, forward, backward, sideways. That way you can get an idea of the basic movement and you can keep on repeating that. And then also part of the video, you will see some strength and conditioning movements. That's basically going to work on the three major parts that you'll use in city volleyball. And some of that is the chest and the core and the back. So, you know, some of the things you'll feel while you're playing city volleyball, you will feel your shoulders and a lot of different muscles you haven't been used because it's a different sport for you. Your hip flexors and things like that. So, hope you enjoy it. We'll get to the videos and show you a little bit more. Linda Gomez here has been coaching Wonder Warriors for the last eight years, and here she's now coaching a new sitting volleyball player how to move. It's very important how to move backwards, side to side, making a skill move, right, left, pushing and pulling with body parts. When you make those moves, you gotta make them quick, reaching out for balls one way and the other, and getting back into a ready position as quick as possible. You start off slow and get faster. And now the player that Linda Gomez taught for about 10 minutes is now practicing on his own. He's moving front, backwards, side to side, making skill moves once he gets to that point. And he will find the more that he practices these movements, the better he will get in the game sitting volleyball. So continue to keep on practicing these movements and you will find that you will be more confident when you move and when you play the game and it will make your game city volleyball so much more fun. Well let's get started with our strength and conditioning for city volleyball. We're going to start with our chest exercises and this will deal with our Spider-Man push-ups. This is going to help with your hip flexors, your movement of your hips with your chest exercises. As you can see your knee is coming up to your arm, your elbow, as you do a push-up. You can modify this by touching your foot to the ground instead of having it up in the air like Clinton Pye is doing right now. What we will do with these exercises, we're going to have eight total exercises and we're going to have 30 seconds of exercise and 20-25 seconds of rest in between. Now he's going to show you what is the next exercise we're going to do for chest and that's the dive bomber or the under the gate push up. So now he will get his 20 seconds rest in after he showed you that demo. This is Clinton Pye, he's my nephew and he's the um, wanted to do this for the SOCOM athletes and with the exercise that he's doing uh, he's a he's in good shape and he said just these eight exercises with 30 seconds of exercise and 20 seconds off he had a great workout right now he's doing the under the gate push-up as you can see full extension he's tightening up with the glutes at the top full extension with the shoulders underneath the gate with his head back under or they also call these dive bombers great for the shoulder stretch the chest stretch and push up yeah, this is um, the next exercise is going to go into uh, now the back so this is going to be the Superman with a back squeeze what you're working on is getting that scapular to touch in the back, really pull and squeeze together on your back and stretch it out. It's a great lower back exercise. 
and uh, back squeeze on there. So he's during his 20 second rest now. I'm getting ready to do the Superman with a back squeeze. 30 seconds of this. Let's do it. You can come to the point where if it gets too difficult, you can modify it by putting your feet on the ground. But if you can hold them about six feet off, about six inches apart, tight the glute again. It's a great exercise after you've been on the floor and sitting volleyball to stretch them out. So he's demoing and also during this rest period of 20 seconds, he's demoing to show you the next exercise. These exercises that we're going through right now are uh, longer than 20 seconds, but that's just to give you a better demo of what's going on. And uh, you know, some of these exercises are longer than 30 seconds, but no, we want you to do a 30 second exercise with a 20 second rest. Okay, this is called a scapular plank to a pike. Again, you're going to be squeezing your scapulars together in a low position, low plank, and then pushing up to a pike. It's a great back exercise again. Nice stretching, nice strength exercise for your back. Just a body weight exercise. In that low plank, you want a nice shoulder to ankle straight ahead. Go up. Tighten your scapular muscles on your back. Squeeze them together. Bring your head, twin your elbows to help get that nice high pike. Good 30 seconds exercise. Here that 30 seconds should be over in just a couple more movements. And then he'd be getting ready for a demo and a rest again. And this will be into the last back exercise. And this is going to be the posterior plank. The goal of this exercise is from again from the shoulders to the ankles should be straight. So you bring your hips up looking to get your shoulders to your ankles straight. You can do these exercises wherever you can, whether it be outside as, as the, these uh, exercises are, or you can be in your house or wherever you want to do it. After you got done exercising and moving them from uh, the earlier video to um, you know, playing, these are great exercises to keep your body in a better health. So the hands are below the shoulders. Work on getting the goal of getting your hips straight, shoulders to ankles straight. It'll be a nice flat plank. Again, this is called a posterior plank. And should go about uh, right now and be ended. The last ex exercise we did was a posterior plank. Again, that was a back exercise. Now we're in that 20 second uh, rest period in the demo of the next uh, exercise, which will be a uh, ab core exercise and it's going to be the Russian twist. In the Russian twist you can have again a modified position or the normal position. We want your feet up in the air. You're going to go from side to side just with body weight exercise. You can add a little weight to it to add more stress to the core. Um, and then if it to modify this to make it a little easier you can also put your feet on the ground. This is a good hip flexor again uh, stretch as you're doing these Russian twists and just a good normal exercise for that core okay just finished that uh, that exercise now Clinton's going to show you the next exercise and rest and demo it's just going to be a plank some people call it a high plank or just a normal plank This 
exercise is a great one. You know, the military has shown that uh, when you do your push-ups for your conditioning in the military, that some people, or they allow you to do just a plank up to six minutes, uh, is comparable to doing 100 push-ups or 60 push-ups. But a plank is a great exercise, and uh, six minutes is a very long time. All we're having you do here is a 30 minute, 30 second plank. 30 minutes would be a long time, but 30 second plank. Again, we want the hands underneath the shoulders, shoulders to ankles straight, as you can see there with a good platform, and hold it nice, great overall core exercise. Now Clinton's gonna show you the next exercise, which is gonna be, you know, circle, leg circles. You're gonna put your hands underneath your hips to have stability, have your legs off the ground about six, six inches or a little higher. And, uh, you know, it's another great hip flexor again, because I keep on um, saying hip, fle hip flexor because you know, in city volleyball, those hips get a good workout with all the leg movement and the sliding um, and all the positions that you end up with in city volleyball. So this is a circles right now. You can go in counterclockwise or clockwise rotation. Again, it's a 30 second exercise. So work on going both ways, 15 seconds one way, 15 seconds the other way, go ahead and alternate. Go ahead and provide that stability with your hands underneath your hips to provide a good stability. You can have your shoulders off the ground or shoulders on the ground for a modified position just to help. Okay, that's great. Thank you, Clinton. Welcome back after watching that strength and conditioning video. We'd just like to recap a little bit of what we saw in those videos. We know that to be better at playing the game, you must play the game. So to be better at moving in the game, you must move. We taught you during the just very quick glimpse of teaching you how to move. It is a push me, pull you type of thing. You use your parts of your body that you have and push along or pull along and uh, just keep on working at that, getting better so you can get to the ball as quick as possible. We know it's probably about just two quick pushes to get to the ball because it is a fast paced game and we want to get there as quick as possible so we need to work on that movement as much as possible so we get very comfortable getting to a spot and using the skills that we've learned also to play this game. Now in order to keep our health while we're playing this game, because this is a game that we're not used to playing and therefore some of our body parts are going to be pretty sore. So this we did go over some chest movements, body weight chest movements body weight back movements and also some body weight exercises for core. These are just a few movements and you can lose, use so many more that you know of uh, just to keep your body in great health knowing that uh, you're going to be working on the shoulders and that abs you're going to feel a lot, you're going to feel your hip flexors, different parts of your body. So we want to make sure that we continue to exercise to build that strength that you have and uh, that way you can play this game at the level that you want to play this game. So good luck. Thank you for watching this video. And uh, I'm glad that we were able to show you the movement and some body weight exercises to keep your body in shape so you can play this game of sitting volleyball.